HIV makes people vulnerable. It leads to people's rights being um, um, violated. The help and the support we've been getting from Frontline Aids and all other partners to make sure that we do have some means to respond to emergency situations and improve people's uh, agency and the ability to bargain for what is right when it comes to their own sexual reproductive rights and health. The benefit that the Rapid Response Fund has um, added to that is that those intersectional needs that people have alongside um, their concerns about HIV status can now be um, addressed. If a response is not provided within the first 72 hours, that can be detrimental to the well-being and health of the, of the survivor and also to them even having a chance at getting justice. The Emergency Fund played a very critical role uh, in ensuring that it continues to empower community members to access, um, to negotiate um, their safety if it, when it comes to SRHR. It has enabled us to effectively engage um, healthcare service providers to do advocacy, to be able to reach and have discussions. It allows us to provide the assistance to someone who is in a very vulnerable position and needs help now, but it also enables us to collect the data and look at the systemic issues that are driving the pandemic. Community-led response for me is a response that puts the people at the center, not only as beneficiaries, but as masters of their own destiny. The people implementing it needed to be people who were part of the community, who were going to be the target of the REACT program. Collaboration is a very important aspect uh, as it ensures that our, you, uh, the kind of service you offer to the community members is streamlined and also it avoids duplication of resources. The key vision for Positive Vibes is really to add othering. Currently, you know, the rapid response, it sits within positive vibes. What I really want to see for the future is that it lives everywhere um, within the LGBTI and sex worker organizations because um, their proximity to the community makes the response much faster. We're already in discussion with a couple of community-based organizations on how we can partner with them in future if we can raise the funding to be able to roll out REACT programs. We do believe that, you know, we're taking the right steps and we are also learning as we're going and that, you know, there's a lot of success that, you know, um, awaits us in the future and that ultimately we can see this society we want that is equitable and just for everybody. Mm -hmm.